Hey guys, Spooky here from ArmoredTalk.com. If you're not familiar with the website, we cover Armored Warfare news and information. And you can find us at ArmoredTalk.com. The second stage of Armored Warfare's Early Access gets a start today. The EU servers came up first. Uh, North American servers will be online tonight. I just thought I'd grab a quick gameplay video of the Russian T-62 which is a tier 3 main battle tank. If you haven't had a chance to play it yet, this might give you an indication of how it performs. You know, I tried to stay on the right-hand side of this bridge uh, to let the tank behind me pass, which he does pass, but then he decides to take a right-hand turn. Ah, well, traffic jams. This tank has reached the proven status, which means that I've been able to expend enough reputation, which is the experience earned in armored warfare during battles, to buy upgraded motor, upgraded ammo selections, etc. So that this is a fully decked out tank at the moment. I actually have, I believe, this at the renowned status, so I'm just waiting to get enough credits to get the tier 4 T-64. So far, the second test, I have not noticed anything that visually different from the first test. My frame per seconds are actually pretty much the same as what I experienced before. I know there are supposed to be some game optimizations going on, and maybe it is for some lower end clients. I know that the 32-bit mode is supposed to be working now. Probably the two biggest changes that people are going to appreciate are adding the Tier 7 vehicles, which we have a list on ArmorTalk.com for those. So the folks that are going to be able to grind their way up to Tier 7 are going to have some tanks to play, some really good looking tanks to play. Uh, the other main change is in the settings, you do now have control over mouse sensitivity in the third person view, or what a lot of people call sniper view. If you recall the first test, it was pretty twitchy when you were zoomed in trying to aim and fire at tanks. Some of the tanks did see some nerfs or some buffs. Part of the testing process is to make sure that the tanks are well balanced. The tank I'm driving right now, the T-62, actually, I think, had its shells buffed by about 10%, which, in a way, surprised me, because I actually prefer it over the patent and thought it actually had a better gun than the patent does. But we'll see how the progress and the tests go. Some of the other changes in the game were they reduced the cost of credits to be able to buy tanks, there are now some extra reputation earned for streaks that you go on, such as spotting streaks or kill streaks. They indicate that the kill streaks are not such a great bonus that people are going to want to go ahead and quote kill still, because they will actually be getting more reputation for damaging tanks than they are for any kill streak goes. So it's just a fun little bonus that hopefully won't have a negative impact on gameplay. And the class of vehicle that actually seems to get a lot of hate, that being artillery, did see a couple of minor nerfs in it. They slightly decreased the rate of fire for all artillery and slightly increased the reload time for a couple of them. As far as the maps go, Ghost Field had some cover added to the runway and there are bug fixes on all map. And of course there's the new map, I believe it's called Roughnecks. You can see a trailer video of it and brief discussion on OverTalk.com. I think the garage has a couple of minor GUI changes, graphic user interface, and the heads up display, and there's a new friends list that's a little bit different. But really, you know, I don't really notice those a lot more. It's the gameplay that I'm after. And as far as that's concerned, uh, it seems to be playing the same as it did in the first test. Then speaking of gameplay, this particular game is going well for the team. I know it looks like it's pretty even right now, but I think we've been able to do a lot of damage to the tanks in the city. You know, on this particular map, I really don't like going on the zero line ridge. It seems a little bit campy to me. I suppose if I was in a TD or just wanted to make sure that that flank was protected if nobody else is going there, I would head that direction, but I'd much rather be in the city where there's a lot of places to duck out and fire and shoot from. That might be true of the ridge line too, I just haven't played it as much, and my first impressions of it may not be accurate. Oh, there's a nice little friendly enemy to shoot. Um, I probably did not need to let that fully aim before I fired. At this range, I probably could have snapshotted and been alright, but... 
you know, we're up by a couple tanks and I think by a lot of damage in this game, so it's starting to look good. And I kind of go into squirrel mode here, which is chase down the tanks. And in World of Tanks, I think you'd be able to break through this wall. I'm not sure why in Armored Warfare I'm not able to go through there. I think a real life tank would have been able to push or punch through that wall, but I don't know. I've never driven one. So this is the end of the game, we're pretty close to it, so I'm going to go ahead and speed up this video a little bit just so we don't have to watch this tank hunting and other tanks hunting down the enemies. Overall, early access to seems to be going well. I personally have had having a little bit of technical difficulties because I'm trying to twitch and stream and record all at the same time, which doing that during a test game probably is not the best idea, but I'll keep plugging away at it. You know, here there's only a tank left, I think, and it is a lot faster than most of our tanks. So I'm just going to go ahead and cap. It'll draw him back in, or we'll win by capping one of the two. Either way is fine. You know, with me, the win is most, the most important aspect of the game. Getting reputation and damage after that, of course, is fun. Well, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay video of the Russian Tier 3 main battle tank, the T-62. I'm not going to be doing any vehicle reviews quite yet because they will be changing during the test. Feel free to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, look me up on twitch.com slash bespooky, or of course come visit us at armoredtalk.com, your Armored Warfare news and information website. If you have any suggestions or comments, feel free to leave them below, send me an email using the contact us form on the armoredtalk.com website or see me in game. I'll be on the North American server tonight.